Hi, I'm Dari with Foreseeing.com, and today we'll be showing you how to replace your power station. To do so, you only need one tool, and that's going to be your Phillips screwdriver. To get started, let's unplug it. I got my new power station here, I'm just going to put it aside for now. I'm going to grab my Phillips screwdriver, and I'm going to unscrew these two screws right here. I'm going to loosen them up all the way. I don't have to remove them. We're going to grab this, pull it up, and then turn it to the side. Once we do that, that's going to allow us to see the four screws that are here. So to get started, let's go ahead and unscrew this. the other edge here, pull back the leather just a little bit, once we have those four screws undone, we're going to go on easily pull this right up, we're going to go ahead and pull the leather back just a little bit on the outer edges. Once you got one side, you're going to repeat that on the other. We're going to just peel the leather back just slightly, and it should come right out just like that. We're going to continue to pull on this. It should come out just like so. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to grab our new unit. First thing first is we're going to feed the power cable through. Just like so. I'm going to feed the cable back down. Now what we've got to do is we've got to unloosen these two screws and that will expose the inside. Alright, they got those nice and loose. I'm going to open it up again, give it a little bit of a turn so I can expose the outer brackets, move the leather, just slightly get those in there. I'm going to do the same thing to the back side. All right. Now what we've got to do is get our screws. Put them right back in. Now for the last one. Now we got these screws tightened, we're going to tuck the leather in, we're going to grab the unit, turn it around, and we're going to just settle it inside. And you'll feel when it grabs, it'll be sturdy. Now we can go ahead and turn these until we get them nice and tight. Alright, now that's done, we're going to go connect it back up and test it, see if it's working. Flip the switch on, the light's turned on, that means there's power and everything's working great. Well, thank you for your time today. If you have any further questions, please contact foreseating.com.